defense was really solid early in the season and then the back half of the season giving up 38 to Maryland, 38 to Rutgers, 35 uh, this past weekend. Obviously, guys have, because of injuries, guys have had to play an awful lot of snaps yeah. that, that maybe they otherwise wouldn't have. As a defensive guy, I mean, do you look back, or are you disappointed in them? Are you understanding about the kind of struggles that they've had? Just, just where, how do you approach that? Yeah, you know, to me, um, very proud of the guys that are still uh, battling every single day, that are still healthy to be able to be out there, uh, fight to stay out there. Uh, the depth has become a huge issue. I'm just going to call what it is, um, playing way too many snaps, and, and which has led to, to, to even later in the game, more fatigue, more mistakes, um, just kind of wearing down physically and mentally. And so uh, that to me has been been frustrating because I know how hard the guys are playing and how hard they work each week. So uh, it's been, uh, you know, an unfortunate set of circumstances. You know, you just go through and you look at our roster and where we're at right now based on how we started. And and there's no doubt. I mean, football is a numbers game. Always has been, always will be. That's why I have classes in high school sports. That's why they, you know, have different, you know, things working the way they are divisionally and how it works. And, and you know, when you have more guys that are bigger, faster, stronger, that, that can make plays, that's what you want, you know. And so, unfortunately, as this has kind of got near the end here, we've really gotten – decimated in some spots and it's really taking its toll which is unfortunate but at the same time that's uh it's where we are so we got to fight through it and uh find ways to execute better in those critical times i thought there were some things even in the game this last week where you know third downs really just did not get off the field in some of those third and longs that we really needed to and and sometimes with breakdowns and guys that have just you know once again maybe playing that aren't quite ready to be playing yet, but they still have to be out there because of the situation we're in. And so that's, that's it. So what you got to do, we got to find a way to get those guys ready so they can execute. So, uh, but it's not for lack of effort, not for lack of preparation with our guys working hard. And so we're just trying to keep it, you know, in, in, as simple as we can so those younger guys can still execute and, and make plays and, and try to get some of those older guys off the field a little bit, you know, in early in the game and not have them play every single snap. So, but that's, that's where we are. And uh, yeah, it has been frustrating because I know it's a special group of guys that, that I think have We've got a lot of good players in there, and, and, and I know that, they, uh, that they're frustrated as well. So, But the, the key is they're going to battle this week and work it really hard and try to find a way to maybe get some of these guys back. Even a guy or two would help. It would be huge to be able to help us in that area, especially in the secondary, and then just some, some depth at linebackers. So, but uh, just trying to continue to do everything we can to, to fight through everything we're going through and help our guys uh, have one more shot to play together and do something special.